Now, we all have very personal ways of working, and fortunately, Scrivener gives us many options to customize our workspace. Um, I won't go into all of the various options. Some of them are uh, really quite just basically cosmetic. Um, but one that is definitely worthy to note is the ability to customize your toolbar here. So the toolbar at the top, there are two ways to do this. Um, you can do it directly through your um, view menu and if you go view and come down here to customize toolbar um, the other way to do it is to simply right click on the toolbar itself and then just go customize toolbar when you do this it's going to bring up um, this uh, all of these various options that you can add to your toolbar um, and so let's say for example uh, I wanted to add the ability to just take snapshots at any time or um, I wanted to be able to move documents up and down within my binder and I found that I was using that quite often, um, we can simply add these different options right into our toolbar. So I'm going to just drag the snapshot up into the toolbar and just drop it on there. And then um, say, for example, I wanted to be able to expand any folders within my um, my binder as easily as possible and quickly as possible. I'll just drag that up there as well. So, um, and then if you wanted to remove something, you just drag it back off. Very, very simple, very easy. Um, and there you go. That's how you can uh, customize your toolbar. You can also choose whether you want to show the icons only, text only, or icon and text. Um, because I'm very familiar with all of the various functions that these little icons uh, stand for, I just generally use icon only. But again, it's entirely up to you how you set up your workspace. So do take a look at that. Um, you may find that there are various things that you want to kind of jig around on here. Um, and there may even be icons that you simply do not use that you would just drag off and remove from the default bar. So there you go.